<laughs> Sorry, hey, 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 Captain Chris Johnson here, as it says on my hat. I apologize, I was messing around with Red and Jane. If you haven't checked out Red and Jane's Fun Day Monday, go check out his YouTube. Marty will be following me next. I have no updates for today. I do want to talk a little bit about, well, what's going on today? Let me, so I don't forget. I believe Michael and Julie is doing a, uh, let me check. <laughs> I believe Michael and Julie's doing a three o'clock. Hold on, my dog. Look, I'm having a bad day. Come on, get in here. I got the contractors here. That's why I'm outside. Uh, so Julie and Michael, I think, are doing a three o'clock today. I never know, but I'm pretty sure they are. What else is going on today? Rob Lynn live, eight o'clock every night. Uh, I think Comfort does something today. There's all kind of webinars in the back office. Go check them out. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. I had a really good Easter. I wasn't expecting my uh, my son and his wife came over with the grandson. Uh, got to spend a couple hours. We went out to dinner, had a blast. Uh, loved the kid to death. They live in uh, Kentucky, so they don't. It's not like I can just jump in my truck and go see them every day. I told them they got to get back here, but Kentucky's not a bad place to go. So what is happening today? Huh? What did I have my title? I don't think what my title was. I thought I put two things. It's Monday. It's time to start living. And why do I say that? I say that because a lot of us are kind of stuck. Well, you think you're stuck in a rut. That's that's the problem with life. Every one of us has gone through this like, man, what am I doing? Man, you really got to think what you're doing. And, and that that's the rut part. Stop thinking. Go do. Go have some fun. Uh, it was absolutely it's a beautiful day in Michigan. Probably 65 degrees out there, which is pretty nice for this time of year. I was out there yesterday. Hey, Brian, what's happening? Uh, I didn't really get to go outside yesterday because I had my grandson over, but it was great. Absolutely loved it. Took some cool videos. But, man, I thought I'm looking at my son. I'm talking to my grandson. And I can't wait to go fishing. I, I haven't gone fishing in probably four years. Uh, I'm looking at things to get out there. I'm getting my fishing poles ready. All I got to do is go get a license and uh, bait up my fishing poles. I, I put a bunch of my poles together, which I haven't touched in, like I said, a long time. I'm like, Chris, get out of the rut. Turn off the boob tube. Even turn off the computer right now and go do something. If you're retired or if you're just home, and most of us are working, I would imagine, go do something. Get out, even if it's taking a walk. All right. What did I do this morning? I had to get up very early because I do have con uh, construct construction going on in my house. So. I got up pretty early and I'm looking at, I'm a, I want to talk about O'Mail today. I want to, because I have a lot of people that aren't founders say, Chris, what's so great about your products? And I said, well, I think I should learn a little bit more about them. So I did. I broke into the O'Mail, which I thought was uh, pretty interesting. And I even asked Marty a couple of questions today. It's like, what, what can I possibly do? Hold on, belly girl. So I got on there and I start reading about it. So when someone asked me the question, well, well, okay, Chris, what's so good about your, your old mail that you guys call it? And I think, well, there's a lot of things that I love about it. One of my favorite things that I really love about it is the three minutes video I can make and send to somebody. It, per, it personalizes it. In other words, just send in an email, boring, but man, you can make a video. Like, like I could send my grandson a video. Hey, Cody, this is Grandpa. How you doing? Can't wait to go fishing. But it's it's so personal. Now, imagine people that own a business, all right? And you're calling up uh, Billy Joel. Uh, Billy Joel. Hey, Billy Joel, what's going on in the shop today? Well, Chris, and you could talk to each other face-to-face. -face. There's no more of that junk. And that's when no connect's going to come and play. But just for emails, just to, just to send an actual live video of, hey, man, uh, where are you at? I'm waiting for you guys to come out here to finish this job. Or, hey, I wanted to leave a message. What a great job you guys did on the bathroom, whatever, just in general. But you can pers personalize it. You got speech to text, which I really love. Because I'm a, number one, I can't see squat. 
and I refuse to get glasses even though I wear them, typing isn't always so good for me. So I'm actually talking and things are typing out. I love that. There's a lot of things in Omail that other uh, email companies don't have. Now, when we think about it, what is an email anyway? It's really an important piece of information and a tool for everyone in this world today, especially if you're a business. But even if you're not, you could you got calendars in there. You could set times where it sends it automatically. Uh, maybe you're freshly new in love with somebody. You could send a text every hour or at one time. A video, man, I'm in love. I love you. I, I miss you. Boom. Every hour on the hour, it's sending it out to that special person. You know, crazy stuff like that is what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> and that's kind of cool. I always thought if you could actually let someone see you talking just like this, it's a plus. You got to think about it. Emails are actually kind of boring. Uh, what, what Ash Mafar and the tech team is they blinged it out. I can say it. I can say it. They blinged out our old mail and it's free. It is free. Now people say, Oh, I have the original AOL, my AOL original. All right. Uh, I just sentimental to me. I think Susie McCray still got hers. A couple people out there still have yours and it doesn't do any of that stuff. All it does is send <laughs> email. Boring. Boring. I might as well just go get in the rocket chair, gra grab some pigeon food, and just feed the pigeons. This is so boring. That's about how much fun old emails are. You now have a new email system that's got all these fun blings. Let's say we blinged it out. That's what I love about Impassive. When people say, Chris, what is so great about your products? There's a great way to say it. Well, it's they're all blinged out. What does that mean? Well, that means it's got all the bells, the whistles, and a lot more. In other words, you bought a plain Jane car when you got AOL. You buy the impassive car. It's got everything you could possibly imagine. And that's just talking about O-Mail. When O-Connect is coming into play very soon, by the way, maybe your own link's in your back office this week. I can't wait for that. I can't wait till it goes public. Man, am I going to have a lot of fun with it. O-Connect, to me, is going to revolutionize everything. That is where we're going to start. That's our first paid product. Very excited about that. I don't know how you can't be excited about that. People said, well, he said a couple of days. You're right. It's been a couple of days. I respected the fact myself that Ash before I waited till after the holiday weekend. I actually love that. You had, you had Easter, you know, a Christian holiday. You had Ramadan. You had all kinds of things going on. And people, hear my dog scratching. Come here. She wants to get in the house, which is weird. But this is the kind of stuff. So when people ask me what is so great about um, passive products, that's because we bling it, man. We we bring the bling. How you like that one? A passive brings the bling. Yo, dog. <laughs> I'm getting back in my, my old days. But I mean, that's a good one. A passive brings the bling. I like that. We can write that one down. I don't think Ashley. I think Ashley even like that. But that's what I'm talking about. Start learning these products because right now I'm not talking to the founders. I talk to you guys every day. What I'm talking to is the new people out there. I want to let them know about the, the, the free three products that we have just to get their, what do you say, foot in the door. And they're going to like, wow, this old mail is pretty cool. And then we're going to do, oh, now, oh tra I mean, tra oh, tracker after oh, connect is going to be cool too. But once oh, connect hits uh, and a lot of people say, oh, what do I need this for? Everyone is going to need it. All right. I'm telling you right now, if you have uh, people that live overseas or out of state from you and you could send them a video every day just by just by the O-Mail system, that's pretty cool. But when you get the O-Connect, you know, there's a lot of people that have family where the kids only want know one language because they were born somewhere. So let's say the Philippines and they only know Tagalog. Well, you can talk to your grandkid, even though they're going to learn English sooner or later. But how cool is that just to be able to talk to anyone in the world? Uh, that's exciting, too, because as you all know, we have a lot of friends. <laughs> Since we all became founders, we have a lot of friends uh, all over the world, and we'll be able to talk to each other. So I really like that. But as far as me being excited, I'm excited. You know why? Because in the last three weeks, I got busy living, where I was sitting around thinking, man, I got to put my mind to work. I got to stop thinking about the excitement and just get out and start doing things. Uh, sitting in the sun for some people. For an hour a day is freedom. If you understand, <laughs> if you understand 
what it's like sometimes just to walk out. Maybe you're at work. How many times have you been at work and you're looking out that window and the sun's shining? You don't really do that in the winter unless you're a skier or a snowmobiler. But you're looking out that window thinking, I don't want to be in here right now. I want to be at the beach. I want to be doing anything but work. I want to be out in that 85 degree weather. I want to be slapping on the sunblock all over my body because I'm going to be out in the sun all day. How many of you have done that? I've done it. I did it for 32 years. I made it where I didn't want to be around any windows when I worked because it was it was torturous thinking, man, I'm in here. It's 150 degrees in this building. I'm sweating. I'm bleeding. I'm cut. I'm smelling in fumes. It's probably going to kill me. All I want to do is be outside in that sunshine. Anything. Anything. How many of you think like that? I guarantee most of you do. All right. And then I got an outside job. Even though I was in the outside doing my job, my last job, and I love that part of it, I still had to be there. So I'm looking at a distance at the sun coming down because I worked the night shift. I'm thinking my favorite time in the world was being on the lake, Lake St. Clair, and watch in my boat watching that sun come down. No, I'm sitting in the parking lot of Blacktop watching brand new cars come in and out. Uh, I really want, I really like to be on that lake. As most of you know, I'm a huge, I love boats, water. I'm more of a freshwater guy than an ocean but I do love oceans too. I'm just not crazy about swimming where something can bite me in the, uh, in you know what, in my foot. <laughs> but stay excited. I don't have any updates. Like I said, the update is it's time to start living. Get busy living, guys, because your life is about to change. And all you people that maybe are a little impatient, you heard what Ash said about that. We don't have a right to be impatient. That's right. Go do something. Do something productive. Maybe do a live. How many of you never have done a live before and you're just afraid to do it? It's real simple. You hit the button and you go and you talk to individuals because now is the time you want to start bringing people into this company. You know, before it was a little harder. We didn't really have our products yet. When this happens, we're going to have all this stuff. We're going to have oh, mail. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of products and they're going to keep coming out, coming out, coming out which is going to be so much easier when they see you making income from sales. They're going to say, what are you doing, Chris? Do you ever see that commercial where a guy walks up and knocks on the guy's door and said, Oh, you know, you had another package delivered to my house. And the guy looks around, he's looking, he's got a big house, got a beautiful car. He goes, sir, can I ask, what do you do for a living? The guy says, come on in. That's what people are going to be doing to you. Hey, Chris, what the heck are you doing? You got that brand new, nice vehicle out there. Oh, man, I told you I've been doing this thing called Impassive. Uh, we launched to the world. We now have our personal links, and we're now earning an income from all the sales we're getting. You mean What do you mean sales? No, 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 I don't have to sell nothing. The company's doing it for me. What do you mean the company's doing it for you? Yeah, I could do things if I wanted to. I could make talk. I could talk to you like I'm talking now. Or I can watch, watch people come up to me and say, hey, man, wow, this is a really nice vehicle. Hey, Chris, I noticed you're getting your driveway done. That's a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, I got this new thing called Unpassive. Uh, it's really helping me out. It's paying my bills. Good Lord. Guys, it's going to be there. It's going to be easy. But you don't have to do nothing. But if you get out, just start talking about it a little bit. It's going to make your life a lot better. You know what I'm saying? People are going to notice who you are. All right. That's when you go up and say, listen, you can have the same opportunity, the same, the same phenomenal life I'm having right now. It's called a reseller. Really? And boom, they're, they're going to want to know. They're going to want to know. You remember that movie with uh, Will Smith was in it? He was really down in his luck, and he sees this guy pull up in this really sweet sports car, and he asks the guy, what do you do? You know, I'm a broker. I think he said he was a broker or whatever. And that caught Will Smith's, or that, the actor's, attention. True story, by the way. Wow, I want one of those. What did he do? He, he starts studying. He wanted to, he seen what this guy had, said, man, this guy sounds like he's got a pretty good life. All right. That's what a pass is going to do. People are going to see you. Maybe you're not buying a new car. Maybe you got something, I don't know, the, the new sneakers. Your, your kids are going to school with the greatest pair of tennis shoes ever. And the parents just say, man, how can they afford? Those are pretty expensive. Guess what? Now your kids are going to say, yeah, my mom and dad are founders of a passive. You could, you could do it too. Your kids are now advertising for you. It's, that's how it's going to happen, folks. Whether you like it or not, that's what's going to happen. 
Everyone out there is going to notice who you are. Everyone's going to remember that you talked about a passive. You talked about artificial intelligence. You talked about our three free products. And then they're going to see what all this is doing for your life. They're going to want the same thing. Don't you think everyone wants a better life? Who was I talking to the other day? I said, uh, it's it's like free money. You we've We've dreamed about going to work or just staying home and getting paid for what we go to. If that's what it is, guys, getting paid, getting paid to do nothing. I still say that you can't beat that. How many of you said that to yourself, man, I wish I could just stay home and find a way to make money and get paid. Boom. For 20 years, people told you that on the internet. 20 years, they talked about all kind of residual income. This, hey, you can make a lot of money. And what did they do? They just took your money. Finally have a company, online company. That's going to do that all for you. And I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, what time is it? 11.48. Did I even do birthdays today? I didn't. Let me double check that. I think there's only a couple. I hope. Did you guys all have a great? I had a really good Easter. I'm not kidding you. I didn't expect it. But I had it. Uh, Mershuya Geneva. Happy birthday. Sabala Halaba Sahu. Happy birthday. Surrenders Coomer. Happy birthday. Anyone else got a birthday out there? Uh, I heard, <laughs> I heard, I'm looking at something real funny. I heard that the, uh, oh my God, what was I going to say? I didn't hear it. I must've heard it. My brain is, 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 is goofy today. Uh, and I think a lot of, a lot of the reason is I know what's coming at me and I really am still trying to wrap my head around it. And, and what do I want to do first? There's a good question. What do we want to do first? I'll, I'll be honest. The first thing I want to do is share even more than what I'm doing now. Because if everyone can wake up feeling like I do right now, the excitement or any of you, okay? If you could cause someone to wake up that excited every morning, isn't that worth billions of dollars? To know that you were responsible for turning that family's life around, that man's life, that woman's life that was so in despair. And now all of a sudden they got something brand new and it's like, wow, that is going to be one amazing feeling. Hey, puppy, you're driving me nuts. Can you imagine that? Come here. We want to say hi to everybody. No, she wants to scratch on the door. Hold on one more time with this one. Go on, get out there. So wouldn't you like to do that? Wouldn't you like to be responsible for people waking up every single day, no matter what part of the world it is, you got them involved in a passive as a reseller, even a customer, and they wake up every morning and say, my God, I waited for this my whole life. Guys, that's happening. This is going to be all you here. I think in a few short weeks, now that's just my predictions. I think it's going to be a big week this week. Do I know that? No, I don't. I'm just letting you know, this is what I'm feeling. All right. I got to start living. This is what I'm feeling. I think this week's going to be a big week. All right. You do need to pay attention to your back office. You should learn a little bit about something that's coming out. Oh, connect. I talked about O mail today because I'm intrigued by it. What do, how do I answer people when they say, how do, what, number one, we're AI driven. Okay. There's another big thing. Uh, everyone right now, everyone right now is talking about artificial intelligence. Regardless, I'm already showing videos every day of what artificial intelligence is doing. You guys would be amazed what AI is actually doing in this world that you'd never knew. But now you have a company that's 100% AI. And it's all going to be pushed, driven, automated for you. For you. Think about it. Nobody does that. Water. So, are you excited yet? I hope you're excited. I really do. Uh, and, and when people say, well, what are you going to talk about? I could talk about a passive literally every day. And I like giving you a different perspective. I don't have nothing new. But Marty might have something new coming out here in 10 minutes. He might have something new. But just the, just the, my thinking of thinking, my God, a week, two weeks, a year from now, a year from now, I might be sitting in a whole different country. I might be sitting in a whole different state. I might be on a boat somewhere fishing. I might be swimming. With probably some new camera, Ash will come out that you can take a cell phone underwater and talk on it. It'll be a blip, 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 but it'll work. <laughs> 
the 15th of April. What did he say? They're going to go into production for some of these physical products. He also said there's two big bombs dropped in April. Why wouldn't you be excited? Why wouldn't you be excited? I was actually, every morning, I most of you don't know, I do know, I read the Bible. And there was a verse in there that said, I should have brought it out here, that about, talked about patience and asking God for something. And sometimes you just got to be patient, but it will happen. This is one of those things, all right? Many of you have been very patient. Well, I appreciate that. Some of you in PA, impatient. <laughs> don't really care about that, but you know where I'm going to go with that. But just imagine, guys. Just imagine in a few short weeks, I believe this is going to be happening. And boom, you can start planning your life totally different than what are the same boring stuff. Listen, working 40 hours, 50, 60 hours a week for 30 years, it's the most boring life you could possibly have. Yeah, you make money. You might go on a vacation one time a year. It's freaking boring. It's boring, man. If I could relive my life, there's things I would do different. I'm not going to lie about it. But I knew I had a family and I had to take care of them. But your lives are going to be totally different. Your kids' lives, your grandkids' lives, they're going to be so much better than what we had. And that's what we're supposed to do. Aren't we supposed to better each generation, better our kids' lives? Has that happened? Hell no. It's gone backwards. It's gone backwards. For once, I would like to some, hear someone say, I raised my kids. My, my parents didn't raise my kids. I raised my kids. Why do we say that? Because most people, both parents got to work. And guess who gets stuck with the kids? Not stuck with them, but watching the kids, the grandparents. That's a vicious cycle. Let's stop that cycle. All right? Let's raise our own kids. Let's let our, grand, our parents go enjoy their retirement, have fun. Um, after being with Cody for a couple hours, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to do a lot of fishing with that kid and my son because uh, we haven't fished in a couple years. So, But just think positive about your life. It's time to start living, folks. When you hear O male, when you hear anything with an O in it, O trim, O net, O connect. You know what that O stands for? It, it, greatness, change, love. Peace, happiness. Think about it. Your life is about to change. What's the first thing you're going to do? What's the first thing you can do? You now have a choice. I love every one of you. God bless you. If you're sick, I'm praying for you. Happy birthday. If I did miss your birthday, go check out Marty DeCarmo. John Barillo's in there. Let me see real quick. I got a couple minutes. Hey, John Barillo, what's happening? Bimmel Daz, Milton King, M. Kelly was the first one today for tea. Chris DeGrazzi, what's happening? Are you free enough? I know who you are. Are you free enough? That's uh, v Vero Verona. It's Verona. <laughs> I knew I'd remember. Cynthia Brown downtown. What's happening? Uh, Barry Dang. Don Parker. Casey Sevenberg. What's up in my brothers? Oh, Jana. Man, there one. Kevin Rutledge. I'm sure. Let me look who I'm not missing. Who am I missing? I don't know. Uh, Doma, what's happening? Uh, Anela, how you doing? I'm trying to see these so fast. Uh, I got to believe the Matt Hanner's on here somewhere. Lynn Nakamoto's on here somewhere. Robin Noble, Bill Musk, John White. Rose, what's happening? South Africa. You know, I, I'm talking to someone that's living in South Africa right now. How cool is that? I can't wait to talk to them in their language. That's the cool. I even know she speaks English, but I want to talk to her in her language where it comes out in her, what, what she actually talks. That will be cool. Uh, Shaheen, how you doing? Janie Holmes, what's happening? A passive is gold. Absolutely. Uh, Donna Hamlin. Ooh, John Barilla again. <laughs> Frank Rowe, what's happening, Frank? Christy Azon. Helena Tarla, how you doing? Oh, it's moving so fast. Pravon. Guys, I love every one of you. I got to let Marty come on here. He got about four minutes left. Just remember this, guys. You can only bounce so long in the bottom. Remember that. You now have a company that's going to get you out the bottom. It's going to gently bring you to the top. All right. And it's going to keep climbing higher. It's going to change your life. What are you going to do about it? You're going to enjoy it like we're supposed to enjoy life. I can't wait to see people that say I don't have to work 20 more years because of a passive. I can't wait to see people say, Chris, I went out fishing with my grandson six times last week because of a passive. Hey, 
my grandparents, my parents that went on vacation. I sent them on a, a, a worldwide vacation. Thank you because I'm passive because I got my own kids. I'm raising my own kids. It's going to be pretty cool. Are you free enough? Ask her. That's a good question. You're about to be free. You're like, you guys are like all those balloons on a string with the helium in it, but you can't go nowhere because someone's holding that string. The scissors are coming out. Cut. Guess what? You guys are on me floating, floating everywhere, seeing the world. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Marty DeGarmo's coming out in three minutes. I love you all. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow. Keep checking your back office, guys. I have a feeling. I got a feeling. Woo-hoo. I love every one of you. Armando, what's happening? <laughs> if I missed you, I'm sorry. Kaboom! David Switzer, Cynthia Brown. I got to go. Marty's going to fire me. Marty DeGarmo. It's all yours, brother. Bye, everyone.